few of you have been asking about how you would DJ on Heckington Living Community Radio. So I thought I'd quickly just show you how I do it and how easy it is. So you need a few things. You need a set of headphones, or PC obviously, I'm using a Mac here, um, but you can use PC. You need a set of headphones and um, a microphone, preferably a studio mic of decent quality. Um, you could try it with the mic built into your laptop or whatever else you're using. Um, but obviously sound quality of your voice is quite important. So the one thing I would suggest you invest in if you want to do it is a reasonable quality microphone. I use a, a Sennhauser, um, but you can use any reasonable quality audio microphone. Then it's a case of downloading the software to mix the music you're going to be playing and to stream it to Live 365. Now I use software called Mix which is free and it's also available on PC so I suggest you use that. If we all use the same software then if we if any of us we can help each other can't we? We can give each other advice if we run into problems. Um, let's just see if that's gonna work. Yes it is, there we go. So this software is called Mix M-I-X-X-X -X -X and it's pretty standard DJ software and not that difficult to understand. Now um, the first thing you need to do or you will need to do is to set a few things up in settings. Um, you need to set the settings for live broadcasting. I won't show you that page and I won't give you those settings because I don't want anyone being able to log into the radio station and take over a live broadcast but if you decide to go ahead and do this I'll give you the settings for that. A couple other settings you need to set up in terms of the particular hardware you're using so you need to set your outputs um, here I'm using headphones connected to the built-in output on my Mac um, and the master output the input here I'm using so what you're going to be using as a microphone here I'm using a USB microphone USB mics are not ideal actually because the USB interface can interfere with the quality of the stream which is probably why I get uh, sometimes I get interference but it's what I've got so it's what I'm using um, there's another setting up here that you can play around with to alter the way that uh, you hear stuff in your in your headphones you don't actually want to hear your voice because there's a very slight delay on it and uh, hearing your own voice in, in the headphones slightly delayed is a brain scrambler, believe you me, so I've got this set up to avoid doing that. Then it's a case of importing the music you're going to play and there are a number of ways you can do that. You can set it up a, as an auto DJ or a playlist or whatever, I'll show you that in a moment. But you've got to import your music, so if we just use, let's just go to playlists. So this is the playlist I used for my last session, there it is. Okay. Um, to import music, you've got to have it in MP3. So here's all my MP3 music, I've got tons of it. Um, so let's just say I'm going to play Doris Day, Embraceable. So all I need to do to add that to the playlist is drag it across, drop it in, and there it appears. Now you need to make sure that MP3s are at least 128 kilobytes per second or higher. I try and use most of what I use is 320, best quality ever. <laughs> um, but uh, 128 is is okay. Nothing lower than 128, or the sound quality is not good enough. Um, and you also need to make sure that tracks are appropriately tagged up with album name, artist, and title. Um, otherwise we get into trouble with uh, Live 365 and if you inadvertently play too many tracks that aren't tagged up we'll get barred so please try and avoid doing that. There's a nifty thing which sometimes works on mix where you, if, you ha if you've got a track that ha isn't properly tagged up you can do this yeah, and it will find it in the database you can click on that one and apply it and it will tag up the track that this one's already tagged so didn't need to do it but you can tag up the track that way so just go through all the tracks you're going to play and make sure they're appropriately tagged um, if you're doing an hour session then you, you need enough music for an hour um, I quite often find that I don't use all that music because I spend so much time waffling and talking nonsense but it's really handy to have that hour's worth or two hours worth of music 
So if you get a bit tongue tied, especially on your first um, appearance, you might you might be a bit tongue tied and not say too much. So you want to make sure you've got enough music to cover your time. You don't want to be running out and then worrying about, oh my goodness, what am I going to play next? So make sure you've scheduled up enough music to cover you for your session. And if you don't use it all, it's not the end of the world. Um, you can then, if you're going to play manually, um, you can just drag tracks. So let's drag that Doris Day track up onto deck one. Ready to play. And there it is loading. And when we're ready to play it, we just press the play button. And while that's playing, we can drag another track up onto deck two. Whoops, these have been deleted. That's why they're... Yeah, there we go. Um, so that track is now ready to play. So I can start playing that one. And when that one's finished, I can then start playing that one. If I want to talk in between, I can press the talk button. And now I've got one, two, three. Just to prove that that is just to make sure that it's working. One, two, three. You can see that green bar going up and down, which shows that my voice is going out on the stream or would be if we were live. There's a feature here where when you press the talk button, the system should lower the volume of the music automatically. It's called ducking. But for some reason, I cannot get my system to do it. So consequently, when I press the talk button, I'm talking over the music, which won't be very good for listeners so I tend to wait for the end of the track and then talk just because I can't get ducking to work which is really annoying but you might have a bit more success on your system remember to unclick the talk button when you finish talking or everyone will hear background noise so just talk talk press the talk and then unclick when you don't want to talk when you don't want to I'm not saying anything um, there's also a thing called auto DJ which is here and you can press auto DJ and it will play one track after the other automatically um, but I don't use that when I'm live because I want to be able to speak j between the tracks and then choose when I start playing the next track so auto DJ if you get really tongue-tied and you want to abandon your live sesh you could just play it out using auto DJ if you wanted to um, once you've got all this ready and you're ready to go what you do is you click that button up there I won't do it now because if I click that button, it will immediately take Heckington Living um, Community Radio off its pre-programmed setting, which it is at the moment, and it will connect this computer and this mix uh, software to the station and we'll go out live. Um, but that's all you do, you just click on that button and you're immediately live. So everything you say and everything you play will come out on Heckington Living Radio. Once you've finished the session, you just, click, you just click it again and take yourself off live and radio live 365 will then put the radio station back onto its programs um, set up at live 365 so you don't have to worry about that you just go live for the for the duration come off it when you've finished and it re I mean there's lots of other settings here to play around with um, if you want to most of them I don't understand and haven't even tried to understand but um, you can play around with those if you want to um, just make sure that you only play so in your playlist you should generally stick to one artist one album one track um, and not repeat them so you can't play three or four tracks by the police for example in one session if you do that we'll get taken off air so don't do that the, the rules are a bit more complicated than that but I find it's much easier just to stick to that rule one album one track one artist in one session and then you won't run into any difficulties. The best way to, to sort of try this out and give yourself a bit of practice is to go to Live365 and sign up for a free seven-day radio station because um, that way you can, you can play around with it for a week before you actually need to go live on Eckington Living. You will be live on your own station, but the likelihood is if you don't tell anyone, they won't be able to, no one's going to listen to you, so you can play around until you get used to it so I don't think so just go to uh, can't remember, learn more pricing yeah so free seven day trial order it now get your own radio station hook your software up to it um, go out live um, play around with the software get it all working fine you can listen back there's about a two minute delay so if you play something and say something 
and go and listen to yourself on another, another device in another room you can hear yourself back and it gives you just an idea of what you sound like what your sound levels are like um, and so on and just play around with it until you get happy with it and you're familiar with it and it's all working fine you've got seven days and once you're ready just give us a shout and I'll give you the login details you just change the settings from your settings to, to Heckington Living settings and you'll be broadcasting onto our stream rather than your own stream um, it can get a bit hairy sometimes if the system something crashes or you lose your internet connection and you know you've got X number of listeners listening and all wondering where you've disappeared to. If that happens, by the way, Live 365 will immediately say if it loses the connection because your internet's gone down or something, it will immediately switch the station back over onto its pre-programmed settings. So there won't there won't be too much silence. There might be a few seconds silence, but it will just put it back onto pre-programmed. So people will still have something to listen to, but they'll wonder where you've gone. Um, Occasionally things fall over, stop working, you play a track and it crashes or um, other stuff happens, but mainly it's pretty, I found it pretty reliable. It doesn't, I've had a few accidents, which if you've been listening, you'll have noticed them. I had, I played um, Who Are You by The Who on the last session and it crashed the system towards the end of it and uh, I had a heart failure, but I soon got back up and running and it, I don't think it created much of a problem. It's very easy to, when you click on talk, yeah, sometimes it doesn't stay lit and you'll be talking away and then realise you've not actually got a blue light. So make sure when you click on talk, one, two, three, yeah, you actually are, you have got it lit. Otherwise, you'll, again, your listeners will hear nothing, but you'll be talking away. So well, it's not a very big button, is it? They could do with making that a lot bigger and then be, be, be more obvious. Um, if you've got any questions, give us a shout, send us a message, PM me or email me or something. Um, and then when you're ready, just uh, let me know and we'll schedule it, schedule you in, whether it's an hour or two hours or whatever you want, whenever you want, pretty much. And we'll give it a go. I hope you will. It's good fun. And the more DJs we get, the better. So give it, give it, a, give it a go if you're that way inclined. <laughs> 